Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here at SEMA, actually at the Thinkware booth, and I just stumbled across this really interesting AI dash cam uh, that's gonna be coming out next year, and potentially some of the tech that's used in this dash cam could come into a future Thinkware dash cam down the line. Uh, so let's take a closer look at kind of what makes this smart AI dash cam unique. So here's a look at the uh, dash cam itself. And what's special about it is it uh, uses radar, just like the Thinkware U3000, Nextbase is doing it. Uh, there's a K-band transmitter right here, transmits modulated K-band radar. And the idea is uh, when you're parked, it can track for different things in front of your car. Uh, it's gonna look based on things like the uh, object distance as it get closer, as well as the size to figure out, you know, is it a threat or not. Uh, and then as it gets closer to your car, it can then wake up the dash cam, begin recording, and then using a mix of both radar and computer vision, uh, it's basically analyzing, you know, is this gonna be uh, a car, is it a person, is it an animal or something like that, and decides whether or not it's a potential threat and then begins recording. And then because by default the camera is off and it's only transmitting radar, it uses a very little amount of power, again, just like with Thinkware. And so if you want, you can actually use this thing completely wirelessly. Uh, there's actually a battery right here on the side of the dash cam. Uh, it's magnetic and it just attaches to the side of the camera like this and using the battery it's gonna allow the dash cam to record uh, for up to a week. Again, just completely powered by this little battery here. If you want, there's also a USB Type-C port here. They're gonna have a hardwire cable that goes into the OBD2 port, so you can always have it uh, just powered that way, or you can just maybe pop off the battery like this, charge it at home, and bring it back there, so it can work uh, kind of like a GoPro, but record for longer than an hour like a GoPro will. Uh, so radar for long-term parking, plus AI to kind of determine uh, what's going on here with the dash cam. Uh, and then as far as maybe some basic specs, uh, Sony IMX335, so 2K sensor right here. They do do some uh, cropping and reduction to 1080p for some of the things, but you can do 1440p if you like. Uh, and there's also an interior uh, option right there, so an interior cabin cam. Uh, there's no like third rear channel, just the uh, front and cabin cam. Uh, it's expected to launch uh, early next year some, at some point, and they're targeting a price, they're thinking at uh, uh, under $300. So it looks like a pretty interesting idea here um, to kind of add more capability and analysis using this unfortunately, K-band uh, radar transmitter. Uh, but just an, another interesting idea, running off battery, I think it's a lithium ion battery. Uh, but I was asking about like heat issues and whatnot, and they were saying that because there's such low power draw that it should help the battery stay cool. So yeah, I mean, again, just interesting stuff, but I think maybe either picking up something like this or actually just getting this sort of tech built into a future Thinkware dash cam could be pretty cool to just kind of level up the capabilities for what they're offering for their uh, radar-based parking mode.